Hey guys and girls, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Shotcut, a free piece of software that allows you to edit and create movies. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you the timeline. That's down the bottom and that's this space here. You can adjust the size by clicking and dragging up and down. The first thing we're going to do is going to come across and use the three lines, click it and add a video track and click it again and add an audio track. And then I'm going to put some footage in here, so I'm going to put my intro in. So I'm going to come up and go open file, find my intro. And then click on the preview and drag it to the timeline and just release. Okay, and then I'm going to open file again and add in some 3D printer footage that I took. And again, I'm going to add that in. Now this is quite long, so I don't want it that long. So I'm going to move the playhead to where I want to cut and I'm going to cut it here. So to cut it, I'm just going to come across and there's two block shapes and it says split a playhead or we can press S. So we click that and it puts a split in and I can click on the right hand side and just hit delete and that gets rid of that. So, so far I've got my intro with my 3D print footage. Okay. And what I can then do is I can add my outro. So again, open file, add my outro. Drag that, drag that onto the timeline. Okay, so now I've got my intro, my outro, and my footage in the middle. Now I might want to add some text. So if I want the text to appear, say, from here, so I'll cut there up until here, for instance, and I'll cut there, and I can click that section, come up to filters, and I'm going to click add filter, and I can search in here, just click the search. Um, you can select these, so if you hover over these, you can see stars are favorites, uh, video filters, and then I think this is audio filters. Okay. Or close the menu. So you could go to video filters and find the one you want. You could go to favorites, which will change and become the, like the most used. But I'm going to search and I'm just going to type in text. I'm just going to add some normal text. And then I'm going to put whatever it is I want to have there. So uh, I could do, for instance, 3, 3D printing okay and then if I scroll back print head you can see here and it's a little bit big so we can just shrink that down put it where we want it on screen using the circle in the middle and the move tool okay and what we get is this Okay, um, we can have the intro fade out. So we can just click on the intro, click the filter, and we can fade out video. And you can see there it changed. And same here, we can fade out the video there. We could fade it in as well if we wanted. Um, so just add another one, and we can do fade in video. And again, fade in the intro. Okay, and then you'll see it fade in. Fade out. Um, I get asked quite a lot how to add sound into Shotcut, so we'll do that now. Okay, so if you go to Google and just type in YouTube audio library, sign into your YouTube account, you will get the audio library. So these are um, sound files that are free to use as long as you reference the source. So you can literally play them. Okay, pick the one you want and just obviously download. So just hit download and it will download. So there's a bit of drum and bass, put that on my desktop. 
Come back to shortcut and again we can just open file, I can pick the drum and bass. Drag that down into the audio track. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line it up with um, where I want it. So I want it at the start of the video footage. And I don't want it to go all the way through because it'll interfere with my outro music. So what I can do is just cut it. So I literally just put your um, track head where you want it. So here. And we can cut, get rid of that. Okay, and then we can fade this in and fade it out. Fade in audio. And it should be a... Fade out audio. Okay, and you can play about with how faded you want it when you want it to fade in and out. Just hover over the faded shaded areas and just adjust like so. And we'll see what that comes out like. So intro fades out. Okay, so that's perfect. That's just just really quick. It's not supposed to be a good video. It's just to show you some of the things you can do. Um, you can play about with all the different filters. There are a ton of filters on this. Um, so once you've finished and you're ready, we can um, export our movie. So we just hit the export button and there's loads of different options so I'm just going to recommend the best option that I think you should use and if we scroll down we should have uh, it's at the top so here we go you want the h.264 high profile and then you just want to make sure your settings are correct so um, HD is obviously 1920 by 1080. You want a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, frame rate, so if I was uploading this to YouTube, I might do sort of, um, you could do 30 frames a second, 60 frames a second, depending on what you want. You want progressive, and then just leave the rest as it is. Okay, and then we can export file. We can choose where to save this. So if we save it, I'll save it to my desktop and I'll call it new video and I'm going to hit save okay and then up here you can see in the jobs list it's currently rendering so this will probably take about 20-25 seconds to render I would have thought very short clip Okay, and it's got a little tick, job done. That's it, that's finished, and we can just check that that plays. So if we minimize, new video. So that's fine, exported. And it's uh, exported as a MP4, which is fine. So that is Shotcut in a very quick, quick tutorial. Hope it helps. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And here's that outro again. Mm -hmm.